All right, as the Jussie Smollett hate crime hoax plot thickens, well, the state's attorney, Kim Fox, is taking a lot of heat from Chicago police for what seems to be a gross miscarriage of justice. They are very angry today. And Trace Galler joins us from our West Coast newsroom with the very latest. Trace. Sean, talk about mounting pressure. The associations for every police chief in every Chicago suburb have given Kim Fox a vote of no confidence and today demanded her resignation. Fox's handling of the Jussie Smollett case was the final straw, but police are also irate over her refusing to prosecute low-level felonies like burglary and shoplifting under a hundred or under a thousand dollars. Police say theft is now permissible in Chicago. Kim Fox, though, issued a statement saying, "Quote: I was elected by the people of." Cook County to pursue community safety, prevent harm, and uphold the values of fairness and equal justice. I'm proud of my record in doing that, and I plan to do so through the end of my term, and if the people so will it, into the future. And Chicago's newly elected mayor, Lori Lightfoot, says Fox owes the public a better explanation of what happened in the Jussie Smollett case because the evidence against him was, quote, compelling. That's a bold statement because Lightfoot was herself a former federal prosecutor. And the former Chicago mayor, Rahm Emanuel, gave Jesse Smollett until today to pay a $130,000 fine to help cover the cost of the investigation. There has been no payment. The city is now planning to sue Jesse Smollett. All right, Trace Gallagher in our West Coast newsroom. Thank you tonight.